Hi guys, so we're going to be working on this nail design here. I wanted something that was Christmassy but not too traditional. Of course you can mix and match any colors that you want and you can change this to make it for any season. So I'm going to go ahead and run through the items that I use, but of course you can use whatever you have. So I did so I did start with a set of gels already, and the tip that I used is actually these ones here, which, which are these kind of beige colored, but by the time you put everything on them, they look more off-white than anything. Um, I didn't want stark white tips, so I opted for this, but of course you can use whatever you have, or you can paint the tip of your nail if you don't want to use um, actual tips. It's just what I had started with. And then I did use a stamping plate today, which is this Born Pretty L008. You can still pick this up. Um, I chose to use these designs here, which you'll see in the video. For the actual stamping, I use these MDU in color red and green, but of course you can use whatever you like, like I said. You're going to need your scraper and stamper. Um, today I used my purple one and this one. You're also going to need um, top coat of your choice or clear coat. Today I used Madame Glam Soak Off Top Coat. I also used a little palette just to make it easier to mix the glitters. And then you're going to need the glitters of your choice. So I, so I chose to use this really fine iridescent. And then I also used this tinsel. This is Glitz from Recollection. I got this at Michael's. This one I also believe I got at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It came in a kit with a bunch of different colors. But you can use any iridescent. Um, if you want to use bigger glitters, you can, of course. And then you're just going to need your LED or UV lamp to cure your top coat. If you're using, you can also use regular polish. Um, you would do all of the steps except for the curing in the lamp. So I'll go ahead and get started into the tutorial. So for the first part of this, I'm going to be using this top coat. This is Madame Glam. You can use whatever brand you have. And you don't need a lot. We're just going to be painting the tip of the nail with this. But I want to incorporate some glitter. So I have a little bit there on my palette. I'm going to be using this really fine glitter. And then I'm also going to be using a little bit of this tinsel here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and give that a stir to incorporate it. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush and then I'm just going to paint over that top part of that nail. This does not need to be opaque at all. I just want a little bit of shimmer showing through when we actually do the stamping. And I'm just going to continue to do that to all of the nails and then I'm going to cure it in my LED or UV lamp. And I'm just making sure to pat down that glitter as much as I can so it's not too bumpy when we do the next step. Once you have that done and you're happy with the way it came out, go ahead and pop that into your light. Once that's come out of the light, go ahead and take this opportunity to remove the tacky layer on that glitter that you just put on. Also at this time, if you want to go through and you have really bumpy sides, just go ahead and file those real quick just to make sure that you have a nice even surface on the sides when we put on the gel polish. And if it's very bumpy on the top, like you used a coarser glitter, you can always top coat before you go into the stamping part of this. Um, that's up to you. I chose to use finer glitter, so I shouldn't need to do that. So for this next part, I'm going to be using this plate here. I got this one from Born Pretty Store. Um, it's Born Pretty L008. And I'm going to be using these designs here that kind of end. And I'm going to be placing them randomly on the different nails. Um, I think I'm going to use this one, this one, and this one here, since they have a nice pretty ending. You can use whatever plate you like. If you have something more Christmassy, of course you can use that. This just is one that I grabbed. I'm going to be using two colors of polish today. I'm going to be using red and green. Of course you can mix it up and use whatever polishes you like. So I'm just going to start by placing some of that polish on there. And then pick it up just like that. And then looking down in there, I'm just going to go ahead and place it on the nail someplace randomly, like I said. And then I will clean that little bit up there that transferred before I actually top coat. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through and do that to all of the nails. I'm going to use my lint roller in between to clean up my stamper. And making sure to clean with acetone on the plate. 
So for this particular design, I don't want the colors to bleed too much, so I'm not scraping it several times. When I do the actual scraping, I'm just trying to scrape it once. Once you've got all your stamping done and you've given that a chance to dry, go ahead and apply your top coat. You may need to do two layers of top coat because of that glitter. It just depends how coarse of glitter you used. Once your top coat's cured, go ahead and remove the tacky layer if you need to and do any cleanup from the stamping. I'm just using rubbing alcohol to clean up the tacky layer and then I'm going to use acetone around my fingertips just to clean up that stamping polish. Okay guys, so here's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below and as always, thank you for watching.